In this nitty gritty Let's Play live stream at Mahjong Time, we're going to be playing American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. If you're new to this game, stick around and watch the episode. We'll play lots of games so you can see what it's like to play. Later, look for links in the video description below to where you can get to the fundamentals. Lots of videos on fundamentals and skill building, even some strategy. I want to give a shout out to moderators. They will have their name in blue and they'll have a little wrench by their name. Thank you so much for helping monitor chat during this Let's Play live stream. This particular live stream, I thought we would talk about reading hands and there are a couple of ways to do that. So hopefully we'll have lots of opportunities to learn how to read hands. And then I'll update any show notes that come up during the live stream. If you're watching the repost, thanks so much for watching my videos. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I go live or upload new videos. Hi, Sue. Welcome. Thanks for coming to the live stream. There's a table we can join already. We're going to try to jump to it and get started. We're going to talk about reading hands today. This is the first game. Thanks for coming to the live stream and thank you for the thumbs up. So during the Charleston, the there are lots of ways that you can try to remember what people are passing you. I find it a little overwhelming. So typically what I do is just remember what I pass to the player on my left because there are two consecutive passes that go to the same person. So I want to be careful what I pass to them. And as far as remembering what other people pass me during the Charleston, I try not to focus on that too much. Every now and again, I'll keep my eyes on dragons and winds. So here we have a 6-7 bam, 3-4-8 in cracks, 1-5-6-8 in dots, and a pung of souths. I'm just wondering if we could maybe force a quint or maybe play something with winds. We do have a pair of fours, so I think what I would do here, since we have no twos, is focus on consecutive run, three, four, five, six, three, four, five, six. And that way we can let go of one, seven, eight in mixed suits. All right, so this is the first right. We've got a west, a five dot, and a three bam from the player on our left. So if we can, we're going to try to rem remember that. Here's a five bam. So now we have four or five consecutive pairs. Let's discard the three bam, the eight dot. And I'm kind of thinking we should build around the th four or five and let the winds go. Huh. Hi, Karen. Hi, Evelyn. Hi, Kathleen. Welcome. Okay, here's a four. So we have three, four, five, six. I would, let's see, we're on, uh, we're passing left. This is the first left. So we can pass a wind there. Let's see. Let's let the six bam go, or maybe the nine dot can go, actually. Hi, JL. Welcome. We are getting lots of three, four, five, six. We're gonna keep the four, of course. There's a pung now for us. So we have wins we don't need. So the player on our left gave us a wind. So if we pass them a wind, it should be okay. Actually, this west is what they gave us. So let's give them that. They gave us a west, a five dot, and a three bam. If we have three, four, five, we do have three, four, five, six. If they gave us a west, they're probably not playing winds. Let's give them the south too. This is a little bit risky, but since they gave us that west, maybe we'll be all right. Now we did get a three bam south red from the player on our right. The player on our right gave us three, six, so probably they're not, well, it's a little hard to tell at the moment. Reading hands in the Charleston is very difficult. So try not to focus on that part too much and just pass defensively. 
then when you see discards coming out and exposures later, that's really when reading hands can be very helpful in forming your own hand. So we have three, four, five, six. I think maybe the six BAM can go. Happy Wednesday, everybody. North, south with a little run. Well, we didn't have any norths. Let's see. So we have three, four, five consecutive multiples. Here's an eight, nine. Let's see. I suppose we could pass the six dot. Eight, six, nine. Because we do have three, four, five mixed suit and mixed suits. If we can get one flower, we might be able to play that. Let's see, third hand down uh, under consecutive run. Oh, look at we've got a Kong now with our four right there. Kong of fours. So let's see what our opponent wants. <clears throat> I'm thinking we should pass two. They want two. So we could do two and be just fine. Oh, thank you, Kathleen. Thanks for being here. All right, let's pass two eight. We'll see what we get in this next phase of the game. I want to pay special attention to any flowers we might get. South we wind. have three, four, five mixed suit multiples. Two dot. Six bamboos. We're gonna let the wind or the wind go first. West wind. We do have three, four, three, four dragon. That that's North a hand wind. on the card. That would be the fourth hand down under consecutive run. We'd have to let a four crack go. But if we build up those Six white dragons, bamboos. we might be able to play that hand if we don't get flowers. Okay, now here's multiple we don't need, the six bam. Let's or six dot. Let's see. Three, four, five. Let's let this four dot go, I think. Four dot. All right, now let's look and see what we have out. Right now, we have wins in just about it from every player but the player across Green from dragon. us. I think that north came from the player on the right. So the player across from us might be playing wins. And it looks like we have no cracks out yet. So Green dragon. It's something to keep an eye on. One dot. Suits that are missing from the discard pile. So let's see, we have three, four, five. We did just let that four go. We have a, a Kong of fours. I think the five can go. Five bamboos. Still no cracks are out at the moment. Nine bamboos. We have lots of three, four, five, six. We could even maybe do three, four, eight, three, bamboo. four, crack, five, six, dot, pong, 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 pong. Four dots. There's a four bam. Okay, so three, four, three, four. Let's see. Let's let the six dot go. Six dot. This is very challenging because we Six have no flowers characters. for that mixed suit Kong hand. Still no crack. Oh, first crack out from the player Five across dot. from us. No, no, no. The player to our right discarded a six crack. Okay, so we're going to pass on the five dot. Three, four crack. Five, six dot. Okay, east can go. East I'm thinking wins. three, four, three, four dragon. Right here, 3434 three, four, Dragon. Because we don't have any flowers and. Eight characters. We weren't ready for the five dot that just went out and that needed to be a Kong. Eight dot. We'll see One how this dot. goes. We're going to keep going. Eight crack can go. So the player eight across characters. from us, let's see, they have two, five, six, eight. It's a little challenging to. Two without characters. exposures. When the exposures come out, that's when reading hands can help you Six gain dot. some information. Red dragon. So we're gonna wait it out. Three, 
Okay, there's a big hesitation pung. there. Okay, now we have a pung. So there are a few hands Flower. that use a pung of dragons. Second hand down under winds. Fourth hand down under One down. three, six, nine. And then there's also, let's see, we're going to let the three dot go. Three dot. There's also an odd hand, third one from the bottom that uses a pung of dragons. And then the Pink second character. hand from the bottom under consecutive run. So one, two, three, four, four hands that Five uses a pung of dragons. So we'll keep an one eye on character. what they're discarding to try to figure out what category they're playing. And Pung. then later, okay, now there's a one crack. One Flower. crack, so they're playing one, three, five dragon. One, three, five dragon. That would be the third hand from the bottom on the Two left. Dots. So this three crack, they may keep that. That may prohibit us from building that as a pair. Let's discard the two crack two and see what happens. If they're playing one, three, five dragon, which I'm pretty sure that's five what that is. Character. I think that's the only thing that can be. <laughs> uh, let's see here. They have a six Nine crack. Uh, hi, Jingles. Welcome. So the three five crack right characters. now is our risk. Oh, there's a five dot now. We have, let's see, three, four, five. The fives are out. The six is out. I think we should just let it go. Six dot. Part of me is wondering if we should just wait for a flower. That's a pair gap, though, so it's a bit Eight risky. Characters. Either way, we really can let this four crack go, and it won't affect the other hand Nine we characters. may be playing. We may be playing the fourth hand down with white dragons, three, four, three, four dragon. If we get a flower, we could play three, four, five mixed Kongs, third hand down on the right. Eight dots. There's a white dragon. So Four I think characters. I would focus on that. But we really don't have to pick a hand yet. We do have discards one, one way or another. The three crack is the Down risk win. right now because the, our opponent across from us, they're going to need threes. It would be ideal if we can draw that. Nine dots. White dragon. Hmm. We're not ready for that. We're going to pass. Seven characters. Kong. Ooh, we have a Kong now. Six dots. And a Joker available. Okay, so they have no other cracks in front of them. Eight cracks are out. Nine cracks are out. So with a seven, maybe they're Eight doing dots. something consecutive. Five, six, seven. Well, we'll bamboo. see. With one exposure, it's a bit of a challenge. We're not ready for that either. We're going to have to let it go. Jokers would be nice. Seven the three crack is what I'm really looking for. Now, the player across three from us, they're going to be able to use any number of jokers with that hand. Six bamboos. Six crack is out. Six characters. Not a hesitation there. So I don't think they're in one suit over here. Or even two, two suits. Like five, six, seven, eight. Or four, Red five, dragon. six, seven. Oh, they got their joker back. Six bamboos. Two bamboos. I was thinking maybe they're doing something in mixed suits. Okay, so here... Since we have no flowers, I think we should let the fives go. Five dots. And we can now Kong that white dragon. We can Pung the four if Nine it comes characters. out, but still this three crack is the greatest risk because of the player across from us. Nine dots. I'm hoping we'll draw the three crack. Nine bamboos. West wind. West wind. We need to get to that three crack. Two bamboos. There three are two dots. five cracks out. They're going to need jokers. Let's see. There are three eight, eight dots out. Let's let the fives go. Five dots. Three, four, three, four dragon is what we're playing. Fourth hand down under one consecutive character. run. They got a joker too. It would be nice if we could nab one. Nine dots. 
Three, four, three, four dragon is what we're trying for. Green dragon. There's one more joker available for exchange in the one crack Kong. Three characters. Uh oh. That's our pair tile. Pung. Yep, we're stuck. Because the they have all our threes. Flower. All right, so now we switch to defense at this point, I think. White Let's dragon. see. The red dragons are out. I would not take that. Actually, you know what we could do? Let's Kong. Kong. And then we'll we'll play like numbers with fours and hope for a flower. Otherwise, we'll just play Five defense. Dots. So we're going to let the threes go next. And we'll build around the fours. Nine so like characters. numbers with fours. We have a pair gap, no flowers, so we're probably going to be playing defense here. Seven bamboos. Our hand is still viable, but it's weak because of the, the gap. Red dragon. All right, let's see here. Threes were just discarded recently. It, East wind. it appears nobody wants threes, so I think all these tiles here are going to be safe. Oh, thank you, Sue. Two characters. Eight bamboos. Flower. That's what we need. Six crack is out. Six characters. North wind. Well, we have our winner. They had lots of jokers. So we have 135 dragon. Nice win. Over here we have our player with wins. Oh, you know what? They actually gathered wins from us. They gave us a west and then switched. Remember during the Charleston? And they they were actually ready to win on a seven dot. Here we have 789 Dragon probably with flowers, which is probably why we had a hard time getting flowers. All right, let's go again. I'm going to go off camera for a bit. I didn't have time to eat before the live stream, so I'm going to eat while we play. Jane, welcome. You'll take a tile to mess with others if you're not if your hand's not viable. We need players at the table. One more. Ready to go. We have a joker from the deal. A flower. Two, three, five in bams. Two crack. Three, five, seven, eight in dots. A white dragon, a north, and an east. This is a great example of what to do when you have no multiples. You look for the predominant pattern. I think probably two, three, two, three, maybe a year hand. So let's keep wins. There are, there's one hand that you could play with year tiles. So let's discard, let's see here, The let's discard uh, I don't want to discard five, seven, eight. That'd be terrible. Let's do five bam, seven dot, and then the three dot. Maybe it would be better to pass on this eight right away. We have our first multiple, the five dot. So I would probably switch from twos to something maybe with fives. We can 
Maybe do something with consecutive run or even little odds. I think we should let the winds go. Build around number tiles. Okay, now here we got a two, two, three, three. Maybe we could do one, three, five. There is a 135 mixed suit hand, second one down under odds. We'd be able to leverage two multiples. We have the three crack pair and the five dot pair. This looks like a 135 hand is building. Here's a 234, 35 white dragon pair. This should definitely keep going. I think little odds is going to be the way to go here. So let's let the two go. If we play one bam, oops, three crack, five dot, let's just hold on to the white dragons for a little bit. Everybody wants to keep going. So let's see. We could maybe play like numbers with threes with the opposite dragon. And we have to be able to pass. So let's let the two, four, three go here and see what happens with the little odd hand. No keepers. Okay, now here, I would be hesitant here to pass on two wins like this. One, three, five in mixed suits or like numbers with threes and white dragons. Let's just risk passing the wins. You gotta build your hand first. Let that be the priority. Ooh, we got a flower from somebody. Isn't that nice? We're in between one, three, five, in mixed suits or like numbers with threes. Let's pass two. No keepers. I would say pass two for the optional. What's for dinner? I'm having salmon and broccoli. Salmon and broccoli, super simple. We're trying to minimize carbs, so no starch. And it's very good. Okay, we can do two. And of course, Riley loves salmon. He's staring at me right now, wanting to have some of my dinner. Don't keepers. Two dots. East wind. We're in between hands. We could play one, three, five in mixed suits or like numbers with threes and white dragons. East wind. Either way, we need to con the three crack. We can actually do that. Three characters. There it is. Let's go ahead and con. Con. All right, we don't have to make a choice yet. We're Seven gonna stuff. We're gonna just wait. Five characters. The nice thing about this hand is that you need a pair of flowers for both. Six characters. South wind. We don't really buy grapes much. So yeah, I've heard that you're not to give grapes to dogs. 
somebody's playing wins. Come. Player across from us. I was just thinking that because the player to my right God. discarded an east. So One what bamboo. we need to do is keep an eye out for norths. Even because wind. they're going to be playing... They're going to need north. Red dragon. North and south, probably they're doing the third hand from the bottom under winds or third hand from the top. Eat wind. Now, I suppose they could be playing a quint. Four dots. The eight can go. Eight bamboos. North wind. Uh-oh. Oh, not quite ready. They're going to need a joker now. Ex unless they're playing a quint. Two bamboos. Oh, no, Wind you're not being wins. a pill, Karen. Thank you for the reminder. Okay, seven crack we don't need. Seven characters. Four dots. There's a hesitation there. This makes me wonder if West they're playing wind. something with the short run, the consecutive Seven one, two, characters. three, third hand. Okay, let's let the dragon go. Green dragon. There's a little bit of a hesitation there. North wind. There goes the other wind and another hesitation. Kong. No, oh, they took it. Okay, so now they're either playing the third Nine hand down characters. or third hand from the bottom under winds. The east and Five west are down. Moves. Oh no, all four east are down. So they are playing a run. Red dragon. There was a hesitation on the four Eight dot. Dots. So they may have, let's say Red one dragon. through one through six maybe. One bamboo. But number tiles are very flexible. West wind. Five characters. Flower. We're going to pass. There's one joker available Six in bamboo. the south and one in my what in my three crack here. Two bamboo. Since there are two one bams out, I think we should focus on like numbers. One character. Since there was a hesitation on that four dot, I think we should escalate discarding these these uh, dots because they may be doing, let's say two, three, four, three, three four, five. There goes the three, and they hesitated Seven on dots. that. So my guess is that they're focused on probably three, four, five, two, three, four, three, four, five. We're gonna let the five go. Five dots. Four. Not characters. much of a hesitation there. Maybe they're doing one, two, three. Three bamboos. That's our tile, but we're not ready for it. Eight dots. Let's let the five go again. Five dots. Three bamboos. Two bamboos. They have little numbers. Hmm. Three bamboos. Oh, no. Nine dots. We need two jokers now. Oh, no. Six bamboos. We need three. All the three bams just went down. Okay. It's kind of early to switch to defense here. Three dots. I think we should just keep One going. Dragon. We're not ready for that. Okay, let's see. Seven crack. Six crack is out. Six characters. One character. One character. Six dots. Four crack, four crack, seven crack. 
we're still, we have two more picks before the end game. Let's let the seven go. Seven characters. We need to start thinking about discarding Jesus. defensively at this point. One dot. Five bamboo. The, what hand is possible? Let's see here. Let's let the one go. We could one do bamboo. one, three, five mixed suit Kongs. We could do two, five three, bamboo. four mixed suit or one suit Kongs. The three, I think we should just let go. The three band here. Dot. North and south. Oh, they have five, six, seven. All right, so here we have a two, four, six, eight hand. Can, they were concealed. This is the concealed hand, actually. So it's a bit hard to read that hand. Oh. North and south with the run, five, six, seven. Over oh. here, looks like we have six, seven, eight, nine, Pung Pung Kong Kong, I think. Pung Pung Kong Kong. They might have been hoping for five bands. All right, let's play again. I was hoping that person would join the table. I'm hoping we'll have some good opportunities to read hands with exposures. Maybe the next game we'll be able to do it. One more player. Oh, thank you, Karen. Yeah, please do give us a lot a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. We're just waiting for one more player. One more player. Here we go. We have a Canadian at the table. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> okay, we have a pair of flowers, two, eight, nine, and bams, four, eight, and cracks with a pair of fours, three, six, eight, and dots, and a nine, three, six, eight, nine, in dots. And we have an east. We're gonna build around the multiples, which would be flowers and fours. So flowers and fours, we could maybe do something consecutive with two, three, four, or something with two, four, six, eight. We do have mixed suits with flowers. That is, let's see, there's only one hand in mixed suits with flowers, or two, really. That would be the two, eight hand in our pairs with fours, so that takes us to the concealed even hand. Since we have no jokers, we could consider playing a pair hand here too. And that pair hand is in mixed suits. We got an eight. He's gonna start barking. Okay, now we have four eight. <laughs> He's over here. Okay, so we have tiles we can pass here. Right now we have all the eights. We have two multiples, the four and the eight. If we get another eight, I'd probably switch to like numbers with eights. 
let's just see what happens. Here's a seven. We have a one three. Since our pairs are with four eight, I think we should let the two go. This is a little bit risky though. I think we should wait on that and let the six go. We do have some consecutive run building, seven eight. Let's see what happens. 2468 looks possible or like numbers. I agree. Okay, now we have a 79. So we have 789 building. And there's another multiple. 7, 78, pair, pair. And an 8 band. This is when you would want to you would want to build around the most of your multiples. So here I would switch to 78 and let the fours go. We're gonna have to make a choice in here because we are now having to make a decision as to whether or not we want to keep going. And we have a pair and I'm kind of wondering here, let's just see. I wouldn't want to pass flowers. We definitely can pass the two and a four. I'm kind of wondering if we should play like numbers. Oh my gosh, this is tough. I think we should keep going. We, we have way too many discards to stop the Charleston. So I think we should keep going and we have to give a tile up. We're going to let the two go and an eight. I mean a four. Two four. Two bam. Four crack. Now we have to decide what to let go of. I think we could maybe play like numbers with eights. So let's let the nine crack go. If we play... I was thinking maybe the third hand from the bottom under consecutive run. Six, I will see it'd be seven, eight, nine with eights in the middle. We could use jokers for that nine if we don't get it back. We got a nine. So now we can let the four go, keep the nine. We still could play like numbers with eights and use those flowers. So we're in between seven, eight, nine with eights in the middle, third hand from the bottom under consecutive run or like numbers with eights and flowers. If we were to use do the dragon hand with flowers, we would need a white dragon. If we would play the one with flowers, then of course we'll need lots more flowers. So now we have a six, six, seven, eight. We have two clear tiles we can let go of. We do have six, seven, eight, nine in there. I'd almost rather pass fully and focus on the eights. This has been another challenge. Sometimes the path is clear, but sometimes you have to fight for it. We did get a nine bam. Let's just put these in order. If we get a seven bam, we could maybe think about playing the pair hand. Let's see how many our opponent wants. Maybe, I don't know if I'd want to pass two wins. I don't like passing two wins. And I don't remember what they gave us. We're just going to give them one. We'll give them a north. It 
be really nice if we can get a seven bam. Oh, we got a nine bam. Okay, I'm thinking the pair hand at the moment. We need that nine crack though, and someone I think kept it. Let's see here. South wind. I'm, I can't remember if we gave it to the player Eight on our wind. left or the player across from us. Eight bamboos. And we did get a nine. Oh, let's see, we're gonna pass. We're probably gonna need a pair West there wind. if we play that third hand from the bottom, but we may also be playing a pair hand, which is concealed. North wind. Winds are going down. East wind. Looks, looks like nobody wants to play winds this time. North wind. <laughs> there goes the north. South wind. All right, five we don't need. We don't need the four either. Four characters. One dot. No seven bams are out yet. That's really the, the weakness we have right now. Seven bamboo. There's the seven bam. And the other risk is the nine crack. It looks like someone's kept North it. North wind. One character. We'll have to keep an eye on the seven bam first and then that nine. Red Dragon. I think plan B can be to play life numbers Six with bamboo. eights. Six characters. One bam we don't need. One bamboo. One bamboo. Two bamboos. One bamboo. Oh, two crack. Two characters. Seven dots. Six dots. I'm back. We're looking for that seven bam. There's only one out. One bamboo. A flower. Okay, so this is where I would think about Five maybe characters. switching to like numbers with eights and flowers. Or we could do eight, nine, mixed suit Kongs, second hand down. Seven characters. That also uses six flowers. We're going to pass. Seven bamboo. There goes the other seven bam. And now it's getting very risky to play that pair hand. No exposure, so it's going to be very hard to read hands Four here. Dots. But I am seeing a lot of odds out. Let's see. Red dragon. We might be able to play... Seven, eight, nine, dragon. Let's let the eight dot go. Eight dot. Somebody's thinking about that eight. White dragon. Pung. Oh, pung. Hmm. Here's this red dragon here. They could be playing that all dragon hand, second one uh, from the top, or second one down under winds. Let's see here. Flower. <clears throat> they just threw a flower and it took them a while to figure uh, to decide. We're going to pass at the moment. There's a joker. Okay, so we have to make a choice in here. Seven, eight, nine, seven, no sixes are out, eight, like numbers with, let's let the nine go. 
Nine All right, bamboo. so with the white dragon, as we... White dragon. Oh, there's there goes a white dragon, but of course they're already Eight out, five. so no one's playing a gear hand at the table. Let's see. Three, six, nine. They could be doing three, six, nine dragon. Let's see. Three, six, nine. Pum, yep. Three, six, nine dragon. Or they could be doing... The odd hand, third hand from the bottom under under odds, and they could also be doing the consecutive hand. But because they discarded a flower, I bet they're not doing that because they need a column of flowers. So my guess is that they're playing Two either. Bamboo. Let's see, they just threw a nine dot. They're probably playing one three five dragon. Green dragon in dots. That's my guess because they threw a flower and a nine dot. Red dragon. Okay, so that's the second red dragon out. So I don't think I would focus on seven, eight, nine dragon. Nine bamboo. Let's see. Oh yeah, we just let that go. There's another flower. So let's let the nine go. Nine so bamboo. now with all these flowers, we could still do seven, Six eight, dots. and uh, let's see, seven, eight, nine. We could do seven, eight, nine dragon, but we'd need we'd need seven bamboo to take that last red dragon. There's one more red dragon. The other thing we could do is eight with six flowers, but I wouldn't want to commit huh. to that. Let's just see what Five happens characters. here. Okay, now so we have a three crack pung out. There's a North joker Indian. there. Uh, let's see, three, the reds are out. Five characters. South can go. South wind. I think they threw this five and the one. East wind. They might be playing. Five characters. No, not much of a hesitation there. So I'm thinking my guess is going to be either consecutive run nine with little nine. numbers or three, six, nine over there. Here's a six now. So we have six crack, one is out. I think we should go ahead and play the dragon hand and let the eight go. Eight bamboos. Because we could pung the eight Green crack dragon. now that we have the six crack and that six crack could be our winning tile. It's a little bit risky to be waiting on a pair, but we'll see. Eight dots. Let's get this joker. Three characters. And we'll discard that eight. Eight bamboo. So now we're one away. We're playing the second South hand wind. from the bottom under consecutive run. Eight characters. We need to probably either let that be our, let's, let's uh, not take that because the nine could be our pung. Let's pass. This risk right here with that six crack, if they're playing three, six, nine over Eight here to the bamboo. right, that, that could affect our hand. So we're gonna let the six go. Six characters. And now we're ready on a red dragon or a nine crack. West wind. We'll just put it in the middle, I guess. There, so we're ready on two a nine characters. crack or a red dragon. And the nice thing there is there are two red dragons out, so our opponents might think it's a safe tile. There are no nine cracks out Flower. yet, and I'm kind of thinking the player to our right might be playing three, six, nine of some kind. Okay, so a flower, we need a Kong, and we have it, so we're going to pass. There's the other three crack. Three characters. Four bamboos. So we're looking for a nine crack or a red dragon. Seven bamboos. Two dots. Sometimes when there's a hesitation like that, I, I often wonder, is it a fresh tile? And in that case, it was. Five bam, none are out. This is another fresh tile. Five bamboo. And there's a hesitation. Player on the right, maybe. They could be playing consecutive run. Two, three, four, five, let's say. Two, three, crack, no, four, five, bam. Oh, look, we got our winner. 
We got our winning tile here. Mahjong. Okay. Mahjong. <laughs> that took a bit. All right, so we have uh, the consecutive run hand, second one from the bottom with dragons. Four flowers, seven, eight, nine with the matching dragon. Pear, pear, pung, pung. Over here, we have someone playing a little odd hand, one, three, five, the five bam. I wonder why they didn't Kong the five bam. They could have been ready to win. They could have been ready to win on a three dot if they had Kong that five, but maybe I thought that was, when was that discarded? Okay, so I was thinking maybe they were in three, six, nine. That can be tricky with threes because three, six, nine and one, three, five both use threes. So we were a little bit close there. Here we have a concealed player. Three, four, two, four. I think they might have been trying for, let's see, two, four, three, four. I'm thinking they were probably hoping for three, four, five with fours in the middle, but they couldn't get fives. Here we have three, one, three, five dragon or five, seven, nine dragon. They might have been hoping for flowers where they could do the run, pear, pear, pung. Having a, pair, a flower gap is tough, especially with Kong. All right, let's play again. Oh, thank you, Kathleen. Thank you for the kudos. Oh, what happened to, what happened to my, my, um, let's leave this table. Um, what's going on? Uh, I'm hanging up. We, oh, there we go. A little bit of a glitch there. Let's see what's going on. There we go. My player por or profile there was not showing, and I thought, uh-oh, what's, what's going on here? All right, next game. We have a flower. One, two in bams. One, three, five, six in cracks four, five, eight in dots with a pair of eights and an east-west. So when, when you're looking at this hand and you see a lot of one through five here, one through five would be the predominant pattern, one through five. However, our multiple is with the eight and American Mahjong is a game of multiples. So that's where my eye goes to the eight. So with the eight, I think we could do something with evens. So I would keep the evens around that eight and maybe four, five, six, seven. So maybe keep the fives. And that leaves us with tiles for passing. So we're in between evens or four, five, or five, six, seven, eight. We just got an eight and a two. So it looks like evens might be the way to go here. So we have like numbers with ones. I would not pass those together. I'm thinking maybe two, four, six, eight. So let's let the five go. And then we can hoard evens. We'll let the odds go. We're gonna see if we can make something with evens work. We have mixed suits. We got a four crack. That's an even, so we're gonna keep it. And we're gonna, let's see, we're passing first left. So let's pass the west, maybe the one and seven. We have some potential for the pair hand, some potential for the concealed hand. I think that's as far as I would go as far as figuring out what we could play here. I think uh, let's see, we can keep going. South, red, nine. There is a mixed suit hand where you need like numbers of evens. And that's the second hand down. We might be able to do that. Let's let go of the one, west, green. 
Me too, Sue. She says, after years of playing, or after years of watching, I still learn something new about the game every time. Always be learning. There's always something new to learn. And Mahjong, even though you're playing with the same tiles, really the makeup of the hand is different almost every time. The journey is new. So there's a lot that can be learned playing Mahjong. Keeps your mind active, which is one reason why I think a lot of people like to play. I think that's what keeps me coming back for more. It's entertaining and challenging. All right, we have an eight crack. So we have two, four, six, eight in cracks, singles. We've got a pair of eight dots. We do have tiles we can pass, so we really don't have to pick a hand. And they only want two. We could do two. Let's pass the east and the seven. So we're playing an even hand of some kind. We could maybe do the concealed hand, but we could also keep in mind the pair hand. We've got tiles for discards, so we don't have to pick a hand. We're just going to gather dragon. evens. And when we run Wind out of discards, Wind. then we'll figure out what to play. South wind. We're not going to call dot. anything yet. I don't call just because I can. I wait East until... Wind. I know what hand I'm playing, and then I'll Six call tiles. Characters. All right, so let's see. Seven crack is on the outside. We'll Seven let that characters. go. West we wind. do have fives here. No multiples there. Nine bamboos. We do have some three, four, five, six East wind. in here, but our multiple is with the eight. All right, so now there's a development. Here's a five, six, five, six, eight. So let's discard the three dot. Three dot. So anytime you build another multiple, like More the five win. crack, reassess. We could play, for example, five, five, six, seven, eight in cracks and dots, but we have no sevens, and that's a Kong and a gap. So I probably Nine dot. would consider maybe the five. Oh, there's another pair of fives. Okay, so now. We need to reassess completely. So we have four, five, four, five. I think what I would do here is let the two bam go. Two bamboo. We could maybe switch to like numbers with fives if Seven evens bamboo. don't come in. We have four, five, four, five. Like numbers with fives, like numbers White with eights. Dragon. It looks like this is heading towards Sounds like numbers good. more so than evens. There's another eight. So now we have eights and fives, eights and fives. Let's let the four dot go, I think. We're gonna focus on like numbers four with dot. fives or eights. One dot. This is a challenge, another challenging game. Green dragon. Sometimes I'll hmm. use discards to help me make a decision. Boy, we're seeing Eight lots characters. of puns of dragons. There's a joker. All right, so at this point, with all our, our fives in here, I think we should let go of the two, four, six, eight hand. Let's see here. Two, four, let's let the eight crack go. Because we still eight could characters. maybe play two, four, six, eight with eights. And that would be the second hand down. The challenge is we win. need, oh, let's see. We I gave away the eight. No, Nine let's bamboos. let's focus on fives. We needed a pair of eights there, but I don't think I would consider that much because eight we need characters. two pair there. And let's see, we can, no, we don't need that green dragon. There's a pung already green out. Dragon. But the two, four, six, eight hand, it needs two pairs, twos and eights. And that would Flower. be very risky. Plus now there are two eights out. All right, so we're gonna pass, of course, on that. Okay, bye, Karen. Thanks so much for coming by. Flower. All right, we're gonna let that go. We have fives and eights, so like numbers, maybe with flowers. We're just Three gonna bamboo. play it out. Oh, there's a two again, or a four. Two, four, six, eight, four, five, six. Two characters. Okay, so here, nine characters. If we get a five bam, I would consider switching to four, five, six with fives in the middle. Red dragon. This would be the third hand from the bottom under consecutive run. 
Seven characters. Let's just see what we get. Nine characters. I'm thinking the eights might go. Six dots. We could do four, five, six with fives in the middle, five but that's damage. a pair gap right now, and that's the second five bam North out. Wind. So I probably would not do that. Okay, so at this point, I think we should let the, let's see, let's let the six crack go. We did get in here a white dragon, but that's the wrong dragon for what we have in our hand. We would need a red dragon for the Four eights, characters. and we would need a green dragon for the fives. We're going to pass on that. So that probably will be a good discard, and I think the white dragon should Five go characters. too. Okay, so now that's the first of our pair pairs out, so let's pass. Uh, let's see, the eights are not out either, so let's just pass. And there might have been another player winning that five. It would probably be the player Seven to my characters. right. The player to our right might have fives. Okay, so let's let the white dragon go. White I'm thinking dragon. we should play probably like numbers with eights. Two bamboos. There's a big hesitation. That was the second two out. I think it was Seven the player dots. across from us because the player to our left discarded a three. three. There's a hesitation there, too. All right, let's let the fours go. So we Four have seven and a nine. Red really, red I don't red. think that's those are going to help us. There's one of each of those out. Seven dot. Still no eights are out. Four dot. Pong. Okay, four dot. We need more info on a pung. Pung of four dots could be no all kinds wind. of things. Let's let the four crack go. Four characters. Six okay, dots. so now we are... One character. We're two, two picks away from the end game. We need to think about defensive discards. One This character. four bam is the riskiest tile we have. So I think we should let that go. Four bamboo. That's a fresh tile. The five dot is a fresh tile too. So Red I think dragon. we should discard the five dot next and start holding Seven safe characters. discards. Eight dot. That's our one of our tiles. I think we should go ahead and con. Con. We're gonna be an underdog here. We have a five lot of dot. discards. Okay, let's see. Oh, nobody wanted the five dot. Eight win. So that should be safe. Eight characters. One five crack went out. Nobody wanted it. And that Two was dots. a while ago. Let's see, where is it? Right here. Probably in the middle game. All right, so let's keep that for a safe discard. Nobody wanted the five dot. Let's let that go. Five dot. So the west and the one are going to be safe North discards because there are two one dots out, three wests are Flower. out. Looks like nobody's playing wins. Somebody was thinking about the flower, so we have to keep that Nine in mind. Characters. All right, seven dot, two are out, so we could hold that and let go of, let's say, the nine dot. That nine was dot. discarded in the early game. I, th I think that if we draw One flowers character. and red dragons, we might be able to play Three the characters. like number hand, third one down, under like numbers. Huh. But likely we'll, we're playing defense. Five characters. We're probably playing defense here. Nobody wants the five crack. So that should be safe. We've four got characters. one, two, three, four, five, six discards, and we have dot. seven turns left. We'd have to pick a keeper seven every time. Bamboos. We'd have to pick a keeper every time in order to win. Five so most characters. likely, we're playing defense here. One character. And the way you figured that out three is dot. count how many picks you have left and how many discards you have. 
So yeah, we, we have four more picks. Let's see, five crack can go. Five we have, characters. let's see, one, two, three, four, two five, dots. six more picks. And we have six discards. So that means we would have to pick a keeper every time in order to even make progress with our hand. So we're playing Seven defense. Bamboo. Okay, that was just discarded, so we're gonna let that go. Seven bamboo. We did get a joker, but it might just be a, a little too late. Nine bamboo. If an eight bam goes down, we could Kong. I doubt Kong. we're gonna draw a bunch of flowers here. Two so characters. it looks like they're playing, this is interesting because it looks like they're playing, I bet they're playing three, six, nine actually. We need to hold on to this three bam. I think they're playing three, six, nine. Nobody wanted the two, so let's let that go. Two characters. I think they're playing three, six, nine in BAMs because they threw a seven away. Seven dots. They could have been playing five, seven, nine dragon, third hand from the bottom under odds, but they threw away a seven. So that's why I think they're playing three, One six, dot. nine. And they even let a three BAM go in the middle game. We're going to pass on that. These should all be safe discards. The three BAM, I think, is what Nine they want bamboo. over there. Joker. And there are no six BAMs out. Two characters. When there are two exposures, you can nail six down characters. their hands if you watch their other discards. The seven BAM. Red Dragon. And there's five BAMs out, too. So they have to be playing three, six, six nine. Bamboo. They just threw a six bam. They needed a pung there. And I think they even threw a flower out. I could be wrong, but I don't think so. White dragon, three are out. So that should be safe. White dragon. Nine dots. Oh, thank you, Kathleen. Nine dots. She said, good lesson on thinking defensively when your hand just doesn't come in. Okay, there it is, 369. 369 in one suit. They had all the sixes they needed, so that's why they let the six go there. 369, and that would be with the dragon. So that is the fourth hand down, fourth hand down under 369. Over here, it looks like a two, four, six, eight mixed suit hand, maybe, but this almost looks like they're playing Hong Kong Mahjong <laughs> because that's a rough go here. Yeah, I don't know what they're doing there. Um, let's see. Here we have one, three, five mixed suit Kongs, second hand from the, uh, from the top under odds. All right, we're going to play some more. Uh, let's see here. We're going to see if someone will join our table. All right. And we just need one more player. One more player. Here we go. We've had some very challenging hands. I would welcome multiples and jokers. Okay, we got we got we got an answer to prayer here. I don't know if that was a prayer, but a thought. All right. <clears throat> we have 689 in bams with a pair of nines. 5689 in cracks with a pair of fives. 79 in dots, a red dragon and an east. So I would build around the five and the nine. More likely than not, we're gonna do an, uh, an, a big odd hand because in order to go from five to nine in consecutive run, there's nothing that will use two suits like that. So I think we should hold odds. So let's hold odds and let the six, eight go. We're gonna look at five, seven, nine, big odds, and we're just gonna gather. Hopefully we'll be, we'll be able to use both of these multiples. So here we got a nine crack, so that's another multiple. And here's a three, we're gonna let the eight go, and the six. Here's a one, but our, our predominant pattern is big odds. 
And if you look at the odd category, there are one, two, there are two hands that use one, three, five, seven, nine, aside from the pair hand, of course. So three hands that use one, three, five, seven, nine. And then, of course, sorry, the concealed hand uses the whole span. Otherwise, it's either little odds or big odds. So I think we should let the one dot go and focus on big odds. So again, I, that was a little bit um, chaotic. So there are four hands that use one, three, five, seven, nine, all numbers. The first one in two suits, the concealed hand, and then a pair hand. Now here we have a one, one, three, five, nine. There's a nine, bam. Okay, we have an east that can go, a red can go. We have one, three, five. Part of me is thinking we could try for the pair hand if we get a seven crack. So let's let this seven dot go. The other thing I was thinking is maybe we could play, well, we just got evens, look at that, in one suit, no less. That's gonna be tough. I was thinking about the pair hand, but I was also thinking about the concealed hand. We should definitely keep going. Uh, let's see, I don't know if I would wanna do this. Two, four, six in one suit, that's really risky. We have a five nine, we have one three five. I was thinking maybe we could try for the concealed hand, but we have lots of gaps. No seven, no five in the bands. Let's see here, five nine nine. I think what we should do here is keep the four and let a nine bam go. Passing two four six and one suit is really risky okay so we did pick up a three let's keep that and then we have tiles we can pass so we don't have to debate in our head what to do i'm thinking we should play the pair hand if we can get even one seven crack i would feel more comfortable with that as a decision and of course we could maybe switch to the concealed hand if it doesn't come through. Or maybe even the first hand in one suit. There's a seven dot, but really a seven bam would be better if we would maybe try for that concealed hand. We could do one, three, five in cracks, five, seven, nine in bams, and hope for flowers. I really don't like doing that, though, because that's a pair gap. Even with the one, three, five, you know, the odd pair hand, we have a pair gap there too, seven crack. Okay, now there's a one. So here we have a pair gap with no seven. Even if we get one seven, we'll be, we'll be in really good shape for the pair hand. Let's say we want two. Let's see, I'm gonna discard here east and red. Okay, so Sue's asking, um, I'm curious, she says, I'm curious about watching discards. How do you know what the person on your left is going for? Let's discard the two bam here. So, two bamboo. It's very challenging to figure out what someone is playing if they have no Four discards. Bamboo or no exposures. If they Seven have bamboo. two exposures, by process of elimination, you can figure out what they're playing based on the discards. Not only just Easy discards win. out on the table overall, but their discards in particular. You can watch what they're discarding. Okay, we're gonna keep the Six flower. Bamboo. If we get a five bam, seven Six bam, bamboo. we could maybe switch to the concealed hand and use the joker. West wind. So we're in between the pair hand, second Easy hand win. down under, there's a five bam now. I think we should, hmm, I think we should probably switch to the pair, to the concealed hand. Let's let the nine go. Nine That's painful. There's a seven bam out, so More we have to win. be mindful of that. But 
so seven bam you have to look at oh no there's a seven bam now second one and somebody wanted it this will be interesting Two we need a pair for that seven bam all right let's let the one go so one back bamboo. to the question how do you know what they're playing and how does two watching characters. discards help you figure out what they're playing so once someone has two Three exposures wins. you watch what they're discarding in order to narrow down what hand they could be Four playing characters. and then you can also look at what is out or what is not out so Three let's bamboo. just wait and see until someone has when exposures wins. and then we'll we'll work it out we'll talk through it and we'll look at the discards and One see character. what they're kind of zero in on what they're discarding and that way you can see how you can figure out what they're playing just by process of elimination okay now there's Eight not characters. many there's only one dot out South wind. One dot is out, a nine dot. If we're playing the concealed hand, we've really got to be mindful wind. of the seven bam because there are two out and we need a pair. North wind. Looks like nobody South wants wind. winds. So winds, winds should be safe. Part of me is thinking seven we should play one, three, five, seven, nine in one suit and use the joker as the one missing bamboo. seven a red dragon we could switch to one three five dragon let's let the five bam go because the seven bams are out five bamboo. here we can switch to one three one five bam. dragon maybe if we don't get seven cracks six bamboos we don't need a flower with the one three five six dragon bamboos. hand but we have no gaps now with the one three five hand with the dragon eight crack we don't need that at all it looks pretty but eight it doesn't characters. fit so if oh. somebody discards the three crack red dragon. okay now we have to make a choice red dragon this is the first one out let's wait if we play the one three five dragon hand third one from the bottom on the left under Two odds characters. we need a pung of reds that's the first one out so we can wait for the next one before we have to really Eight decide dots. our cons with the one five are weak there's a one crack already out there's a flower now all right so let's discard the nine bam nine bamboo okay so with the flower there's no little odd hand with the flower in one suit. It's a mixed suit hand. The only other thing I would hmm. think of doing would be maybe switching to something consecutive Five in order dots. to use the flowers. There's another joker. Nine so bamboos. probably what I would do here is play one, three, five, seven, nine in one suit and let Red these flowers dragon. go. Let's see here. We could pung that though. All right, let's see. We have a gap. No, okay, we're gonna pung, pung. because the reason I'm not playing one three five seven nine is that's a pung gap with a seven, and the player to our right has a kong of eights. If if they're playing one suit, they could wow. have the sevens, and that could hinder our ability to get those. So here, instead of you 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 know trying to fill up pung gap we're gonna go with what we already have where there are no gaps so there we can pung one three five dragon pung and we just need one really good pick flower for probably the one crack or the five the one crack we're gonna have to have a joker there because there's already a one crack out flower Okay, so eight crack they have. They just threw a flower. Red dragon. Oh, they got the joker. Four characters. And we will not have a pure hand because there's a one crack out. Two characters. Oh, flower. We're going to let it go right flower. now. 
think somebody wants that. Probably the player across from us because the player to our right discarded four a flower. Character. They have an eight crack. They just discarded a four crack. They could be doing evens. Three bamboo. A mixed suit even hand, or they could be trying Five for something in, with a run. Okay, this nine crack will be telling. Let's see if there's a let's see if there's a hesitation here. Nine characters. I think they're playing consecutive. They weren't ready for it. Nine dots. They may be playing consecutive with One cracks bamboo. or two, four, six, eight and mixed suits. Seven dots. Five dot, two are out. Let's let the nine crack go. Nine characters. There's a hesitation there again. Nine dots. So nine dots, they had a pair. Thousand. They might be playing consecutive because they had nines. I think if they Four were playing two, four, six, eight, we would be seeing evens go down. Okay, this one dot can go. One dot. My guess is they're playing consecutive Eight run. Dot. Okay, now the player to our left. Eight bam. They do have three six bam in front of them, so they're probably not playing three six nine. Eight bamboo. Let's see. Two dot can go. That's a. This is a fresh tile, so this could be telling. Two dot. Nobody wanted it. Okay, now the player on our left, Eight they have win. a pung of nine bands in front of them. They've got lots of little One numbers. Win. They do have a, some consecutive. I'm wondering, let's see, nine band pung. One bamboo. They could be playing a three, six, nine hand. North wind. Let's see, with a, with a nine One band dragon. pung, they're probably not playing odds. Seven dots. They could be playing consecutive run or three, six, nine. Maybe they're playing like numbers, but the nines are down. Nine crack, nine dot, those are down. Seven dots. So my guess is they're playing probably three, Five six, nine, dots. or maybe something Two consecutive dots. with the nine, bam. But being an edge tile, like what could, they could eight be doing. Dots. No, they're not doing eight, nine, eight, nine. Cause they're down i bet they're doing three Two six characters. nine we'll have to see oh look we're we're ready to win now three characters so we just need a one crack or a five crack and six with these dots. exposures we could be playing either the consecutive hand second from the bottom under consecutive run or Four the third characters. hand from the bottom under odds i suppose we could be playing also let's see six would a three characters. six nine no the three six nine dragon hand hmm. has a pair of threes. Okay, so they are playing a two four six eight, or maybe, maybe they're doing five six seven eight in one suit. Pung pung kong kong five eight six dot. seven eight. They could be playing the first even hand also. With a pung kong pung, bamboo. six eight pung kong. North wind. In one suit, they could Two be playing dot. the first even hand or four, five, six, seven in cracks. Seven dot. Since there's one seven crack, no five cracks, Three my dot. guess is they're playing five, six, seven, eight. Pung, pung, kong, kong. And well, here we have a winner. Mahjong. Woohoo! All right, so, oh, six, seven, eight, nine is what they're playing. I should have thought of that because we had the fives. So we have one, three, five dragon. This is the third hand from the bottom under odds. Here we have our player with sevens. This is why I didn't want to play one, three, five, seven, nine with that gap for the seven. We were going to do the one suit or thinking about it, but I thought that they were going to have seven cracks because they had a Kong of eights. Um, and I think they threw away, it's kind of hard to see under here, they threw away a four and a one. So big numbers is what I was pegging them for, and they did actually have the seven. So that was a good decision to go with little odds. Here we have three, four, five with dragons probably, pung, or pear, pear, pung with the flowers. This is the second hand from the bottom under consecutive run. And then here we have seven, eight, nine dragon ready to win 
on a flower or a joker. So I was thinking they were playing 369 with a pung. It's a little challenging to figure out what they're playing with only one exposure. So they could have been doing something consecutive. consecutive. I think I did mention that. But then also 369. But see, they have a 36 in one suit in front of them. And so probably the, the consecutive run would have been a, a more precise call. All right, let's jump to this table. Thank you for the kudos. Hopefully there will be more opportunities to read hands, primarily based on exposures. It's kind of challenging to figure out what someone's playing during the Charleston. If you want to try to read hands during the Charleston, try to remember what people are passing you and peg them for a category. Try not to figure out what hand they're playing, but maybe what category. So for example, if somebody keeps passing wins, well, we know they're not playing wins. If somebody is passing consistently little numbers, then we know that they could be in maybe consecutive run with big numbers or big odds. So you can kind of keep an eye on those trends and try to figure out what category somebody is in during the Charleston. Let's see if we can do that with this next game. And the challenge is though, that really proving your, your decisions on what they could be playing is a bit hard to prove because then we go through the next phase of the game where you're changing direction sometimes. So you may not be able to prove whether or not your guess was right at the end of the game just because of the way the, the hands change so much. So we'll see. Let's see how this goes. We should be able to play two more games if we can get someone at the table. We just need one more player here. Thank you for the kudos. One more player. We need one more player to even play. Hmm. Where'd everybody go? Woot woot. Yes. It feels nice to win a few. Oh, here we go. Marsha's at the table. Hi, Marsha. So we're going to try to figure out maybe what category people are playing. It's very challenging to do, especially while you're building your own hand. So here we have a pair of flowers, two, three, four, nine in bands, two, three in cracks, one, two, five, eight in dots, and a south. We do have a multiple with the flower. With the number tiles, we have all singles. So this is where I look for the predominant pattern and go with that until a multiple forms. Because you can use flowers in every category. So I don't really count, like try to figure out what hand with flowers can I play. I wouldn't think of that yet. So the predominant pattern here is little numbers, one, two, three, four. So I would let go of the south, the eight, and the nine. And we're gonna hold one through four or two through five. When you have mixed suits, you wanna think about holding a, tiles in a four number range. And in this case, we have now built two multiples, a one dot pair and a three band pair. So we have one, two, three, four. So here, I would probably let the five go one, two, three, four. We could maybe do something in mixed suits and use the flowers. If we get a five crack, we might be able to do the little odd mixed suit hand. 
I think I would want to build around the multiple with the flowers. So I think the two bam can go or maybe even the two crack here. Although we could do one, two, three mixed suit Kongs. Let's let the two bam go. Because we want to build around the multiples. So here's our one. One, two, three mixed suit Kongs. If we get a five crack, we could do one, three, five mixed suit Kongs. And here we have tiles we can pass. Now we have a seven, eight and two suits, but I really don't think we need the two dot. So we could make that a little bit of a more benign pass by doing an even and an odd and then a win. That's actually a really great pass. It, it, the likelihood of anyone using two tiles out of that is pretty low. Okay, so now there's a three. Here's a five. It looks like one, three, five is what we're building. Or one, two, three, mix suit Kongs. We want to keep going. So we have one, three. I, I think the five can go, the eight, and then probably this four. And we can focus on one, two, three, mix suit Kongs. There's no gaps for that hand. The two is weak, but we can use jokers. And we're still considering a five crack if we happen to get it. If we build up the three crack, we might be able to just, oh, you know what? I forgot to focus on the passes. All right, we'll try next time. I thought we were gonna try to see if we could figure out what people were, were playing um, based on the passes. It's kind of late now though. Uh, let's see, so let's let the five and seven go. We have to make a decision in here. I was thinking maybe we could keep an eye on like numbers with threes. Let's let the three dot go. What we what we need in here probably is the five crack. Okay, so let's see, where are we? Oh, look, we've got a, a one dot again. One, two, three, mix suit Kongs probably. We're passing right, so uh, right across so left we've got we got a white dragon and a one dot and a seven crack okay let's let this two three go and pass fully oh my goodness look we got a pair we just got a pair from the player on our left they gave us a one dot a three dot pair and a white dragon here <laughs> okay, three tiles, three tiles from the player across from us. Oh my goodness. Okay, so here we could switch to like numbers with threes. We don't have the right dragon though. Or play one, two, three, mix suit Kongs. They want three. I suppose we could focus on one, two, three, mix suit Kongs and pass two. I don't want to give up a white dragon right now. I think it's risky passing that and our hand isn't strong enough because our two, even though we don't have any gaps for the one, two, three mix suit Kong hand, we need a Kong there and we have just a single. So we have work to do. We're going to have four discards once we get these tiles. That, that would have been nice if it were a five crack, but oh well. All right, so we have four Three discards, dot. which is not bad. If you have four discards or less after the Charleston, you have a good chance to win. Five dot. So let's let the five dot go. Five dot. We ended up getting the three dot. Okay, Kathleen said the player didn't pass five the pair. Five bamboo. They, it was a blind that they needed. Oh, they passed on a three dot Fifth in character. the blind pass. Good call, Kathleen. Yeah, I was wondering because they gave us Fun a one bamboo. dot and a white dragon and then to turn around and give us a three dot pair, that would that would be very surprising. All right, so let's let the four dot go. We have Fun three bamboo. flowers right now. We don't need three flowers dot. with these tiles at the moment unless we were to switch to like numbers with threes and six Eight flowers. Characters. We could do that, like numbers with threes and six flowers. We'd need Four a joker bamboo. for the three dot, though. Let's just see what happens. Eight characters. We could play either one, two, three, two mix suit Kongs. That's the, uh, let's see, Seven third bamboo. hand down on the right. 
Um, or we could play like numbers with threes and six flowers. We'd need a joker, though, for the three. Either way, we could con the three bam if it goes down. North wind. East wind. So after this game, hopefully we'll be able to play one more. And, it, and one I want to try to focus good. on what people are passing. It's really challenging, Tunda. though, to do that and build your hand at the same time. <laughs> East wind. I completely forgot we were going to do that. Okay, Four so let's look and see what we have out. So they're throwing little numbers, little consecutive numbers. They have a nine dot out. Uh, let's see. So three, two four, dot. five. A lot of little numbers are out. Two One, two, three, four. A lot of little numbers are out. Oh, look. Oh, no, no. We have one, three, five dragon, but we'd have to throw away a pung of drag uh, flowers. So we're going to let that go. Five dots. So it looks like three dots. Okay, pass. We're not ready for that. A lot of little numbers are down. Seven dots. Here comes some bigger numbers. Seven, seven, eight, Two nine. Dots. Mostly little numbers are out right now. Six dots. So that could mean consecutive One run. Bamboo. People are playing consecutive run five through nine of some kind. Seven dots. Seven dots are down. Five Three dot, nine dragon. dot. Those are all down. So cracks and bams with consecutive numbers. There's another flower. Let's let this dragon go. White with dragon. all these flowers, I think. How many ones are out? One bamboo. One of each. Yeah, the ones are going down. I think we should switch to like Seven numbers characters. with threes. And six flowers. Nine We're going to need bamboo. a couple of jokers, though. It's going to be a challenge. Let's see. We'll let the six go. Six bamboo. Not much of a hesitation there. Two characters. The one, two, three does look somewhat good, but this two crack is a problem because, well, one is out now, but also we need a con there and we have only one. Either way, we're going to need two flowers. Wins. If we play one, two, three, mix suit cons, we'd have to discard two flowers. Now there is a five crack. Let's keep the five crack and let the two go. Because at two this point, characters. we could play one, three, five cons. We would still have to let a pair of flowers go. So I think I would still consider like numbers Seven with characters. threes. And six flowers, because we could pung those flowers, and they would be pure pungs. And it could even sabotage Ooh, someone's bamboo. hand if they're looking for flowers. I think we should focus on like numbers with threes and let the one go. Because we could pung these flowers. We're going to need Seven another dots. joker for the three dot, though, because there are two out. Two dots. So it is a little bit risky. Seven bamboos. And we have no exposures for reading hands, so it's going to be really hard to figure out. Let's let the one go and test the one waters. Dot. There was a very slight hesitation two there. Two characters. All right, so five, seven, nine, and dots are all down. Sevens. South it wind. looks like... Seven bams are down. Nine bams are down. Seven cracks, not so much. Three there characters. are no seven cracks. Oh, no, no. Two seven cracks are out, actually. Let's let the one dot go again. One dot. Let's see. Where are the seven cracks? The sevens, there's one here. Five characters. And then the other one is way over there. So five, seven, nine are all going down. Odds are going down. Let's see, two, four, six, eight. South wind. Somebody may be playing a two, four, six, eight hand in bands. Six dot. Okay, red dragon. That we might be able to use. We'd have to let a pair of flowers go though. One no, dot. One green and one white dragon are Six out. Dot. No red dragons are out. We're heading into the end game. Somebody could be White holding dragon. dragons, so I'm thinking we should probably let this dragon go. Let's let the wind go first. 
Wet wind. I think we should play like numbers with threes and six flowers. So we're going to let this red dragon go. This is going to be a risky tile to Four hold on to. There are none out, so this is a fresh tile, and we're just now Wet going into wind. the end game. So we're going to let that go. Red dragon. See if someone takes it. Hopefully not for Mahjong. There was a hesitation there. Seven Everybody is concealed. <laughs> so much for reading hands. Seven characters. Okay, four dot two are out. One crack, one is out. Nine crack, none are out. This is the riskiest discard. So I think we should let that go right now. Nine characters. See if someone takes that. Kong. There's a Kong. Nine. Nine dot. Maybe they're playing a three six nine three six nine one hand. Character. Three six nine dragon. We're gonna pass on that. Let's see. One crack was just thrown. Nobody wanted it. One character. Let's see here. Three six nine. Hmm. I don't know. The sixes are, are going six down. Dot. There's only one six crack out, but two three cracks are out. Green dragon. Did they throw any three cracks? Uh, this three crack could have been from the player Five to my left. Characters. I'm just trying to figure out what they could be playing. Six bam was recently discarded and nobody wanted it, so that should be a one safe character. discard. Seven there dots. are two four dots out, two six bams are out. Red dragon. Five characters. We'll let, let's see, there are two five bams out. This four bam or four dot can go. Four dot. So we have uh, five more picks. Nine bamboo. And we have three discards. We still need a joker Come for on. our three dot. Okay, so they're playing like numbers, Red like numbers dragon. with nines. So I was thinking they could still be One playing bamboo. three six nine in cracks. Let's see, this white dragon is probably the riskiest discard. White dragon. That might be their like number. Okay, so they're playing six flowers. We're battling for flowers here. Red dragon. Battling for flowers, I think. They're playing like numbers with six flowers, just like us. So that's why we're not seeing any flowers out, I bet. And the other two players, maybe they need a pair. They could be both be sitting with one flower, thinking, where are the flowers? Okay, let's see. Someone just lost connection. Eight bamboos. Oh, bummer. Was a quid Four possible bamboos. before the decision? Eight crack is out. Let's see. There are two out. Let's let throw the eight. Um, a eight quid characters. for for my hand or for someone? Uh, which which Four um bars. which quint sue for my hand a quint? With Seven one characters. with one joker, I would not consider a quint. Two bamboos. There's a joker. We need that Five for the bamboos. three. So now we have two discards and we have three picks. Six so characters. the challenge here is flowers and the player across from us. I think one they're playing dot. like numbers with six flowers. West wind. There's another joker. Six we bamboos. could maybe use that for the flowers <laughs> we might need it three characters i'm hoping the three bam goes down i'm surprised it hasn't three bam joker oh switch into defense there we'll throw the five five bamboo north wind this is where you want to discard safely two more picks five dots yeah, so there's no way to win. Joker. All right, let's see what Joker. everybody was playing. There's the flowers. Okay, so we're going to take a peek around the table here, and then we'll try one more game. Here we have news with eights, I think, is what they were trying for. News with eights. They needed wests, and they all went down, so they probably switched to defense. Here they needed to, they had flowers just like we did. So we were at a stalemate. And then here looks like a 2468 hand, which is, I was thinking somebody was playing 2468. And this player over here, they were playing like numbers with eights and news, but they were blocked by this player here with a 2468 hand. Yes, wall game. 
Okay, let's jump over here, see if we can entice someone over to play. We have Randy. Oh, Randy and Debbie are at the table. Hi, guys. <laughs> Randy and Debbie are at the table. That's funny. <laughs> here we go. This will be fun. Let's see if we can get someone else. At oh, Randy just left. Oh no. Well, maybe he'll come back. There he is. Okay, last game. Let's see if we can get a winner in here. Whoa, we do have a multiple, nines and fours. All right, so now, what do you do when you have multiples that don't go together, a four and a nine? You look for the predominant pattern and go with the multiple that uses most of your tiles. So we could do two, three, four with the fours, or we could do seven, eight, nine. Either way, we have gaps. I wouldn't consider two, four, six, eight, because we have no sixes. We do have dragons though. So what we could do here is focus on like numbers with either fours or nines. And I think that's what I would do. So let's let the eight and the seven go. And then we could maybe let the two band go. So we're gonna play either like numbers with fours or like numbers with nines, and we'll go with whichever one builds up. And the primary decision on that is the dragons. So now we have a multiple with the green dragon and we have two multiples with nines. So like numbers with nines, it is. That was the first one to build up. So we're gonna break up the four dot pair and pass, let's pass a three bam with that. So we have like numbers with nines. It would be very nice to get a nine crack in here. Nine crack would be nice because right now we're playing a gap hand. This is the middle like number hand. Oh yeah, Randy loves evens. He's to my left. So he's going to be really happy because I'm going to give him evens. Uh, let's see here. We have two, four. We do have all these fours again. Let's see. Let's give him an eight and a two. We have to give him a four. At least we can give him one of each suit. We'll see what he does with that. He does like to play evens. Are we, is this our first left? I don't remember where this is going. Oh yeah, we were gonna try to figure out what people were playing. We know Randy likes playing evens. Yeah, that went to the left. Okay, so we're doing, let's see, this came from the player to our, on our right, one of each suit. It's a bit hard to tell what they're playing um, because we have only one number tile. They're probably not playing wins. We could probably guess that. And let's see here. Let's, oh, we're going second left. We're gonna give him a north, a one. We gave him a two and a four. I think we should give him the four dot. I'm trying to remember what we gave him before. I forgot, okay. Here's another four for him. We're looking for a nine crack. We've got our pairs of dragons. We just need the nine cracks, but we can use jokers for that gap. Oh, we got an eight and the four back. Okay, now, so that's going, uh, let's see, this was from second left. So east eight, they're not playing wins and they gave us evens. So they're probably not playing evens to our right. So maybe they're playing odds. We're passing across right now. Here we go. So let's see what this person from across from us gives us. So I bet you Randy's hoarding evens. We got evens. Look at this. Evens are really going around. I'm sure Randy's very happy about that. Let's see. East, I think the player to our right would be okay with getting an east because they've been giving up wins. I think we got a two from them, and we might have even gotten a four. This is going right. 
Now their optional cross, they could give our opponent to the left evens, which is their favorite category. Or it seems that they're a magnet for evens, if, from what I understand. All right, we have now a dragon pung in there. Here's two, three, four west. Seems that winds were going around, so I'd be okay with discarding that. Uh, let's see. We have dragons. Look at the dragons. Three tiles. We could do three. Let's do two, four west. All right. Let's see how quickly Randy wins with an even because they were really going around. Oh no, he wants one tile? That's not good. That is not a good sign. All right, so we got seven. We got a seven. Yeah, this is a benign pass. It's really difficult to figure out what they're playing with a with a pass Two like that. Characters. All right, so we want to we want to let our evens go ASAP. West wind. We need to try to sabotage evens. Nine dots. We're gonna yeah we're gonna pass on that for now. So evens will let it Four go. Characters. That nine dot we could have punged for the like number hand, but we have a gap, no nine crack. So I am hesitant to do that. If another nine dot goes down, we might take South it. South wind. Let's see another. South wind. We're just going to wait and see Seven bamboos. how this goes. We'll let that north, north go. Wind. So here's a three dot. We formed another multiple. East wind. We could maybe switch to a three, six, one nine hand. hand. The one I would consider with these tiles one that we character. currently have, though. It's not looking okay. Now there's a six. Let's let the one go. This One looks dot. like it could be shaping up for a three six nine hand. We could maybe try Eight for dot. a three six nine hand here. Eight bamboo. With dragons, there are two hands with dragons. One is in one suit, one is in mixed suits. Probably not the mixed Four suit dots. dragon hand or the one suit dragon hand. There's a six nine now. Let's let the seven go. Seven we bamboo. could do three six nine with red dragons if the nine crack doesn't come in. East wind. So we have three six nine. It looks like in here. Two dot. Four characters. He threw away um, a four. Let's see. So Two he has. Bamboo. He has a an eight in front of him. He just threw away a four. Two four one and cracks dragon. is out. Two eight in dots, a four dot. White Seven dragons dot. are out. He could be West trying wind. for, let's see, here's a one bam. So one let's see, two, two, four, six, eight in dots, most Red likely dragon. not. Okay, we're going to pass. Two, four, six, eight in cracks, probably not. One character. I'm, I'm thinking maybe he's not playing a 2468 this time. Two dots. Here's another even out there. Here's the eight bam that can go. Eight bam. Seems like evens are going down. My job. Oh my gosh, he got an even hand. <laughs> oh my gosh, how funny. He was collecting evens. Stinker. Okay. <laughs> Two, four, six, eight concealed. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that's funny. All right, so we're, that's going to end it for this live stream for me. Thank you so much for coming. You have your pairs for the mixed suit with dragons. Let's see. Mixed suit with dragons. We have no no flowers. What do you mean? Wix, are, were you talking about the three, six, nine hand with dragons? <laughs> I know, that stinker. Oh, look over here. Here we have um, this player with big numbers. That's kind of what I was thinking. Seven, nine, five, seven, nine. I was thinking maybe they were doing that. And then here, one, three, five, three, four, 
five, seven. They might have been trying for the concealed hand under odds. One, three, five in bams, five, seven, nine in cracks is my guess. But anyhow, uh, you're welcome. Thank you so much for joining the live stream. Please share about it with your friends. And if you like the nitty gritty Let's Play live streams, please give me a thumbs up so I know. I want to give another shout out to our moderators. Thank you so much for helping monitor chat. I really do appreciate it. And uh, the next, oh, let's see. Yeah, I was thinking about that hand, Carol. That was a consideration, uh, but we had a ways to go. And Randy had a nice time gathering evens because they were really going around during the Charleston. Anyhow, um, the next live stream is going to be Friday night, and that'll be the Simply Social Let's Play live stream. So we'll have a good time hanging out and socializing while playing Mahjong. And then Monday night ma at MajCon.com, MajCon Media, I should say, the YouTube channel, we'll be doing another Let's Play live stream on Monday night. So up until October, you can look forward to Monday, Wednesday, Friday live streams with Mahjong content. So we hope to see you again. Please share about the channel with your friends so we can have more people coming. The more the merrier, as they say. All right, we'll see you Friday. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.